Hello all, Roby here. Today I'll be showcasing a new game on my Lenovo Legion Go. The game just dropped on Steam today in early access. The game goes by the name of Nightingale. This is a survival craft game similar to Ark, Survival Evolved, Conan Exiles, Enshrouded, Valheim. It's in that it's in it's part of that same group of games. The game is made by a company known as Inflection Games. And it's one of the games I've been looking forward to for a while. And the game finally dropped and I've been having a blast playing it. And so I'll showcase how the game runs on the Lenovo Legion Go with you guys. Okay, and as you can see, the game is in early access. I played the game for a few hours today, and I've had a blast playing it. Before I knew it, I had played a little bit of six hours on the game. And this is the character I created for my playthrough, or at least for my first playthrough of the game. And the game runs pretty well on the Lenovo Legion Go. And so my Lenovo is running in performance mode, which is 20, um, 20 watts TDP. I am also, once I'm in the game, I'm also going to show you guys the settings I have for it. Or the in-game settings for the game. Now, one of the things about the game is that loading the realms takes a while, uh, which unsurprisingly, since the game is still in early access, I'm hoping this is something they're going to fix down the line or release improvements for um, in regards to how long it takes to load into the game itself or whenever you jump through realms itself. And so I am not going to cut this video at all. I just want this video to be reflective of what it actually is to play the game on the Legion Go. The loading, the load times for loading into the game or going through realms is the same on desktop PCs, um, even on powerful rigs also. So it's not the system itself. It's more the game itself in regards to them optimizing um, the load times for the realms. And so, right now, I'm in the realm called the Abeyance Forest Realm. I'll go ahead and continue the journey, and it takes a little bit of, a few seconds to load all the assets in. And the person you see running in is one of my um, companions in the game that I recruited. And so the reason as to why you see this here is because she accidentally broke the door. And I put this here to remind myself to put a new door in. But let's go outside though. This is the game. And as you can see, it's running very smoothly on the Lenovo Legion Go. Now, I wish I could show you guys FPS numbers, but as we all know, the FPS counter doesn't work too well on the Legion Go. And so even if I go ahead and um, put it on, it's not going to show it in the game. And so I'll put it to normal. And as you can see, it's not um, showing the FPS counter itself. So I do apologize for that. This is something I'm hoping that um, Lenovo fixes that we can get um, good FPS readings without relying on third-party software. And so I'll go ahead and take that off since it's not showing it. And 
And as you can also see from my settings here, I'm running at um, 800p on the Lenovo Legion Go. My refresh rate is at 144 hertz. And I have Radiant Super Resolution on for this game. And like I showed earlier, I'm running in performance mode, which is 20 watts DDP. And this is the game itself. The game has a lot of exploration elements to it. I will try and play as best as I can while filming this also. And that's wildlife over there in the in the distance. And they just always run. They're very skittish. Actually, there's a place where it show, there's usually wolves down here. Let me see if I can do that. Um, killed some wolves for you guys, so you guys can you guys have a taste of a feel of the combat itself. Oh, just it's just dead this time, huh? Oh, what was the yeah, um when I played earlier today? Mm. I say this is the game plays really well. This is my um companion again. And so I've been looking forward to this game. I'm a real I'm a big fan of survival craft games. Basically games in this genre. Uh, the music in this game is pretty nice also. And bring it uh, bring it closer to the camera just a little bit so you guys can see a little bit better. You guys can see how smoothly it plays on this. And the game looks pretty good too for an early access game. This is my uh, my shack, <laughs> a little um, home that I've built in the game so far. And I'm still getting accustomed to the mechanics in the game uh, when it comes to crafting, foraging for resources, and also combat and stuff like that. This are some of my crafting stations I've made so far in the game. And like I promised, I also said I would show you the settings I'm running on in the game. Let's go here. And we'll go to video. Okay. And so it's, it's windowed bottleless. 800p. Motion blur is disabled. I am not running a third person. My FOV is at 90. And this is my graphics preset, uh, my graphics settings. It's all set to performance. All the way down, all in performance. I do not have uh, V-Sync enabled. And I do not have any frame rate limit on there. And for performance, I'm using temporal super resolution with ultra performance for it. And that's the settings I have here for Enshrouded. I can see how well it plays. It is super smooth. It is super smooth. I wish I could show you guys combat. I'm far from anything that has combat in it. And combat can be kind of hairy. Uh, hopefully I'll make another video of this, me, of me playing the game. Actually, I think I did. Yeah, I'll be having, I'll have a video on the channel today of me playing the game. Uh, when I streamed it on Twitch, so you guys can get a feel for the game other than this showcase on the Legion Go here. But this is the game though. Okay, and that's it. Um, with that said, um, take care guys, and Ruby out as always. Peace.